da und da. So if you're going to be studying German as a language, these are two terms you're going to want to pay attention to. The first is da. Da literally means Deutsch als Fremdsprache. Um, Deutsch als Fremdsprache, uh, if you see like here um, on a, a Wörterbuch, um, a dictionary, it's in Langenscheid, Deutsch als Fremdsprache, this is German as a foreign language. So that means you're a non-native German speaker and you are learning it as a foreign language. So you'll often find books that are specifically for DAF uh, learners or Lerner, so or Lerner, DAF, Deutsch aus Fremdsprache. So as a learner of German, you're probably going to want to look for this term or find this on material. Dach is something specific, and that is when we're dealing with the typical German-speaking countries. Uh, so Dach um, is for Germany, Deutsch, uh, Deutschland, Austria, Österreich, and Switzerland, the Tschechische Republik, uh, sorry, oh, the Schweiz, <laughs> sorry, Tschechische Republik is uh, the Czech Republic. So Deutschland, Österreich, the Schweiz, D-A-C-H. These are the Autokennzeichen. These are the car symbols um, for the European Union. You'll see these are the letters. Um, Dach is really fun because Dach by itself in German is a word. It means the roof. And so you'll hear this phrase used a lot for alles unter einem Dach, everything under one roof. So dealing with the three main German speaking countries. Um, lest we forget Liechtenstein, which is right between Switzerland and Austria, and Luxembourg in this general area that also has some German speakers. Um, the CH in Switzerland is weird. It comes from its Latin uh, name, Cesaratio um, Helvetica. So that's why it's CH. So alles unter einem Dach. Um, when you're looking at studying German, you might want to note a little bit about um, German as, as a language. Um, English is predominantly Germanic. Um, this is not my picture, but I think this um, definitely kind of helps as we look at um, language um, in the world. So we have here Europe. Um, and then branched off of that, we sort of have this Germanic branch. And if you notice, English and German, um, German today is on that branch. So this um, region um, helps us recognize that there are going to be some major similarities between English and German. Um, of course, within German, there are many different dialects. So uh, Schwabian, so Schwabisch Deutsch, Bavarian. Swiss uh, Yiddish is part of that. Um, so as an interesting colloquial language, um, Afrikaans, Dutch, Flemish um, as part of the main Germanic branch as well. But especially if you are a native English speaker, I think you'll notice a good number of um, comparisons to be drawn between English and German. And that's something that um, I'm going to talk about in a later video.